Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Captain CA here, and yes, I am still battling this crazy pollen and head cold that I I somehow picked up during the 2024 Miami Boat Show, and that show is still haunting me. Good Lord, I just want a good rainstorm and clear these trees out of the pollen. It's nuts here. I mean, I've got like drifts of yellow pollen, but enough of that. Um, I fished with a neighbor buddy of mine and one of his good friends um, this past week, and it's Mike Shipley. And Mike moved up here from the Florida Keys, and he's used to those wide open flats down there in Florida Bay. And now I've got him fishing all these little creeks and backwater ponds where casting accuracy is very, very important. You've got to be in those shade zones and and being able to fish around those oyster bars and control your line and control your lure and he's been used to using these seven and a half foot rods and when i gave him a bunch of rods when he first moved up here that were a little shorter for him to get the hang of he hated them he hated them he just said listen i'm struggling with these rods i can't cast far enough i was like that's because you're doing the same thing I go, I'm going to give you a rod that I have found throws what you like to throw. And what does he like to throw? What most of you like to throw? Those little quarter ounce finer wire jigs, like three and four inch paddle tails, um, small quarter ounce spoons, three eighths mirrodines. Those are all his top four or five go-to baits. That's what he likes to throw. In this particular action that I'm about to show you, he was throwing a 3.3 mulletron on a 3 16 jig head, which means that whole thing probably weighed about eh, three eighths of an ounce. So there's one rod uh, that Fitzgerald produces for the saltwater market that does a good job of giving you the balance of distance and accuracy. So I turned him onto that rod and now it is his favorite rod. So I know you're dying to know what it is, but while I go pull it out from underneath the gunnel, go check this action out with Mike Shipley and his buddy. Good one. Yeah, yeah it's a, that's a bronze bruiser there. That one measures. You're talking to the fish man? I've got a good fish. Let me know if he answers. Okay, okay. Tell me. Real close to the water. Good. 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 Good.
coming, Freddy. <laughs> it's okay, I'll get it. Nice. That was fun. fish, Mike. That was great. All right, they're in here. <laughs> I'm not ready yet. I got the rod, but I got to get back into the shop. So go check out some more action with Mike Shipley toward the end of that day, and I'll be back here in a minute. Go on, go watch the action. Yeah. Oh, shit, that's a nice fish. We're going backwards. You're good. We won't panic. Well, the motor's off. I'm coming down. I think it's an upgrade. Just nice that is a nice way to rally at the end. Okay, no doubt a fantastic day for Mike and Bruce. Bruce caught some fish too, honestly. He did catch a bunch of fish. Um, most of them were, you know, I'm gonna say pedestrian sized trout and a couple of 18, 19, 20 inch redfish. Uh, but, but Mike was catching some bigger fish and a lot of that had to do is Mike was able to make more pinpoint casts closer to the cover closer to the shade lines and the oyster points and it's because he's got more familiarity bruce was on a visit down here from massachusetts and uh mike's been up here now for a good year plus fishing some of these creek systems back bays marsh areas and he has grown to love uh, a rod that can make a nice accurate cast now when i intro this before you guys went out and watched some of that fish catching action I told you that Mike had an affinity for those seven and a half foot rods that you make these super long casts because so many of you put so much importance uh, on the fact that you need to make a long cast. And in some scenarios, that is absolutely the truth. But I'm going to tell you in the area that we're fishing most of the time, where you're throwing to targets, sight fishing, or you're throwing to structure targets, a shorter rod is is very valuable um, when you're in these little creeks and you got to make those little pitches into the shade lines and in the little mangrove tunnels when you see a point of oyster or a rock spine that you know fish are laying up against in current that you can make the right cast without having to cast too far because it's not accurate enough and then your braid is floating on the surface and it carries it out of the zone so you got to kind of find a rod that does both now Everyone knows this is why I'm a casting rod fanatic because I'm frustrated with spinning tackle most of the time and I reserve my spinning tackle for a lot of the finesse techniques or if I'm fishing big quarry offshore or something like that. But a rod that I have found that has worked very well for, the, for most of my clientele has been this one and this is in the Fitzgerald lineup, okay? And I've talked about this rod before. This is a seven foot two medium, okay? It's a medium action fast rod. And it does a really good job if you're throwing quarter ounce spoons, if you're throwing miradines, if you're throwing paddle tails. Like this is, this is the mulletron that most of those fish came off of was this action right here. And this is a 3 16 jig head on a little wedge tail swim bait, okay? And with the swim bait and, and, the, and the jig head, you're probably looking at about three eighths, maybe seven sixteenths. So it's a tight, compact, head weighted bait. You can make an accurate cast. We're throwing long leaders. This seven foot two rod, I'm gonna give you a little bit. 
a little bit of the idea of the action of this rod. See how it bends in just that first 25 or 30 percent? So it's, it's a fast action, but it's not so fast that you can't work a top water with this rod. Um, it's, it's, it's a solid choice for most all-purpose fishing. Is it the best all-purpose rod ever made? I've never, I've never found that rod, honestly. But for most of my guys that are loving this new Fitzgerald lineup that I'm affiliated with, this has been fantastic. Um, they make about three, I think three sizes in this Octa Dream setup and this seven foot two medium has got to be my favorite. Now I had them throwing some pretty long leaders, so you'll see that here I have an FG knot, okay? And then we got about five and a half, five feet a liter, and then I've got a little blood knot right there. And then I, with a little bite tippet, because the water is getting warmer and there is the opportunity to catch a snook now, so I wanted to be ready for that. But this setup here has been really good, and if you're that type of inshore angler that enjoys throwing paddle tails, small jerk shads, spoons, and again, like the miradines and stuff, and that's really the bulk of the tackle that you take in your kayak or if you're a shore angler or a small skiff, uh, if that's the way you like to fish, this is going to be one of those rods, I think, that's going to serve you well, okay? Now, <clears throat> you've heard me talk about this quite often here as of late, but we started our own subscription service for uh, online fishing schools, and it's been a huge success so far. The first course that we just recently dropped is the Topwater Mastery. We've put a couple of the modules out there. More of them are coming. And those, those schools and those classes that you get at flatsclassuniversity.com are going to be invaluable. We're going to teach you a lot more about the rod, the line, the lower balance that you need to be a better inshore angler. What we do on YouTube is we talk about product, we put our television shows here, we put the Tidewater Diaries podcast on here. We do a lot of that stuff. Uh, and I do do a lot of teaching here, but if you really want that drill down deep dive stuff, you have to, you have to at least go over there and visit flatscottsuniversity.com and see what we have to offer for you. Okay, if you like what you're seeing here, give us that thumbs up. Hit that subscription and notification bells because we want you here. Every day we drop a YouTube video to help you catch more fish. In the meantime, keep those rods bent, everybody. I'll be back tomorrow.